Bartlow, and welcome to the Powerful Personal Brand Podcast, where I share tips to help and inspire you to build a great personal brand, to increase your visibility and authority so that you can achieve your career and life goals. I am your host, Claire Bond, a personal brand strategist and the CEO of Claire Bond Group. And on today's episode, I am going to be giving you podcast tips podcasting tips for the the host as well as for guests. So if you are doing podcast guesting, I'm going to be giving probably a bulk of the tips to you. So one of the things, um, probably uh, two years ago around this time, I really started doing a ton of podcast guesting. So I learned a lot a lot, a lot around the, uh, you know, along the way. And then I started this time last year, I started my own podcast. So I've learned a lot about that as well. So I have tons of information to give you. So let's, let's get started. And I mean, some of it, (laughs) it might sound like, well, duh, Claire, but you would be amazed. And I'm going to give you some little stories, but number one, if you are a podcast guest, be nice. Don't be rude. Okay, so we're going to give you some quick don'ts. Don't be rude. Do not ask for editorial control of the podcast. This literally happened to one of our our um, clients, and he someone sent him a DM and said, "Hey, I w- I'd love to be on your podcast, but I'd love I, I need to edit it before." And he forwarded it to me and said, "What do I do?" And I go, "Well, I don't think anyone should have editorial rights over your." podcast. And he was like, I completely agree. And so we just said, no. So do not do that. And certainly don't do that with a journalist. Could you imagine telling someone with like, you know, Wall Street Journal, some major publication, like I need editing rights. No, no, you're talking points backwards, forwards, upside down, every which way and stay on point. That's it. (laughs) That's your job not to ask for editing rights. The next thing is don't ask production requests. Like if you flub up, don't say, oh, can you delete that? No, be nice. Your job is to show up prepared and make it easy on the host. Do not make it difficult because I guarantee you, and I've done this, when you make it difficult or you're a difficult guest, that host is just going to say, throw that away. They may even cut the interview short if they're like, I can't do it. So show up prepared, please, please, please. Okay. And eh, I definitely have cursed before, but try not to curse just in case. Because again, if someone, if you curse like all the time and then the host has to decide whether or not they're going to publish it or not. So just try not to curse. That'd be a good thing. Um, Okay. So let's go into some do's. We're going to be positive. So always, always show up with good audio and a microphone, you know, good. So it's just, you would be so amazed. So good audio, use a microphone if you can, be in a quiet place. So like right now I am using my, my AirPods. I have those in my ears and then I have my Yeti microphone right here that I use for, um, all of my podcasts, whether I'm hosting or guesting. Um, the audio is so important. I literally had this person show up for my podcast. One, she was super rude because we had some technical difficulties. I was a little late, just like complete a-hole from the get-go. I was like, wow, you're going to be a treat. But then she shows up. I kid you not. It sounds like a joke, but she was like in a restaurant. So you can imagine the level of background noise. So I said, can you please, and my producer's not there because literally her, uh, my producer's power went out. That's part of the problem that we had. Um, So I'm by myself and this woman's in a restaurant, horrible background noise. I asked her to move. She's completely mad. And then she doesn't have headphones. And I said, well, the problem is, is that my audio will, will come out of your speakers and you'll hear that. And while I'm on a system, where I can do echo cancellation. We have literally had podcasts where you can hear the other person speaking um, on the speaker, <laughs> the external speaker. And it just, I mean, we, the, that particular uh, client of ours wanted to, to use that, that podcast. That was their decision. I would never allow that to be on my channel or on my podcast. So I literally would just scrap it. So I kind of said, Hey, you know, let's just reschedule. She was like, 
I have never had to deal with this before in my life. I have done so many podcasts and I, you know, it's just hung up on me. And I was just like, what? Like you are hit. So I was like, bye, <laughs> you know? Yeah. Good riddance. You mean, angry woman. <laughs> so it is not your job, the, the host job to be prepared for you. Your job is to be prepared. It is their platform that they are sharing with you. Remember your place in this. You should be thankful that you got on their, on their platform and show up prepared. So, you know, again, don't be rude. So show up prepared, be in a quiet place. I think this should go without saying, but a podcast is mainly audio. I do put this on YouTube, but the audio is still important. So yeah, show up with a good microphone, show up with headphones, be in a quiet place, you know? And I mean, I understand that things happened. I had a, um, a guest a couple of weeks ago, his dog barked a couple of times. It was fine. We, I learned the dog's name and whatever. Go with the flow. Life happens. Um, you'll sometimes hear my dogs barking. That's what happens. So, you know what? I understand life, but at the same time, you know, try to do what you can to make sure that you're in a quiet place. All right. Then do your research on the podcast before you get into that, into that room. I mean, yeah, I've, I've certainly been in this position. Like someone will, uh, we have a lot of times that, that, Agencies will reach out to us and they'll say, hey, I have this guest for you and they'll put them on the show and the guest does no research. They don't know who I am. They actually really don't care. They're like, here are my talking points and I just don't care. So it just makes it a not really good podcast and I will actually tell you a little secret. I am actually really going to be paring down my guests because of this exact problem. Um, so, you know. And I actually uh, was just on a, I was just guesting on another person's podcast who has a really amazing reach. And she said the same exact thing. So there's a really low quality. There's a lot of people that are kind of spray and pray. You know, I will just copy and paste and copy and paste and send the same thing out to everybody. I don't care if my talking points don't match your podcast. I'm going to do it anyway. And it's making it really hard for, you know, it's making it hard for people to be a guest. And it's really making it so hard for a host to want to bring on anyone because they have to do so much work to actually um, get out a good podcast. So please do your homework and make sure that if you are going to pitch yourself, that it actually is a good fit for you and your talking points. And if you have a site, uh, you know, a booking service, make sure that you do your research on that, on that host, listen to a podcast or two. Um, and you know, no, and I have been, I have been at fault for this and that's probably why it's such a big thing, but know the, how to pronounce the name of your host and call them by their name. Calling someone by their name is such a huge thing for their ego. It makes people feel good. Call the host by their name, say, thank you so-and-so for having me on your show. I'm so glad to be here. Know what their name is and how to say it. Um, I guarantee you they will tell you in the podcast. So if they will know if you did not listen to a podcast of theirs, if you don't know their name, you are going to want to show up on time, ready to go. Even if that means that you're sitting in the waiting room for a little while until the host lets you in. Um, if you're on zoom or something like that, there could be a reason. Give people the benefit of the doubt, please. Okay. So show up on time, dress professionally. It's going to make you feel better. You're going to feel more kind of like in your zone of genius. So dress professionally, it's going to show up well on camera and it's going to make you feel better. The other thing too is test your audio before joining. Make sure that everything is working properly. Restart your computer, close all of your, your open tabs. If you have like 8,000 tabs open in Google Chrome, shut them all down. Shut uh, a lot of, you know, Google Chrome will take it up unbelievable amount of your CPU and your memory. So shut down unnecessary uh, apps, tabs, all that sort of stuff so that you can really have a fast running computer and you could be really centered on the podcast and getting a really good quality um, interview for that podcast. So remember again, it's a two way street. So you are going to, again, you know how to pronounce that host name and what you need to know what you want to get across. 
Um, I said this before, like, don't ask for, you know, to edit the, the content before it goes live. Know your talking points. Seriously. What are you doing pitching yourself on a podcast if you don't know what you're talking about? Know what you're talking about. Again, backwards, forwards, upside down, right side up, every possible way that you can imagine. Know them. Know your key messages. Know your key facts. Know your stats. Right now, I've got right here in front of me, I have notes in front of me that I am staying on point with this. Um, I, once I had done like 50 podcasts, I never had my notes. But for a very long time, I would have my notes in front of me. I would have stats. So, so important. So have your notes in front of you. Have stats in front of you. That said, make sure you look into the camera as much as you can. Um, so you might want to look down in your notes, but make sure you look at your camera as well, as much, as much as you can and smile. All right. So if you are, we have clients that are in regulated industries. So know what you can and cannot say because you are not going to have editing rights. So don't get into a sticky situation. Um, know what you can and can't say. Also be armed with stats to back up any argument. If someone is, you know, comes at you and says, I don't, I, you know, tell me, give me more about that, or that doesn't sound right. What about this? Know your stats. So you can say, well, actually X, Y, and Z. So one of the greatest things that you can do is self-record your, you know, self-record something just kind of like what I'm doing here. I'm self-recording this self-record so you can see yourself on camera. You know what you look like. You know, if you do weird things, if you're constantly putting your hands in front of your face or just something that's awkward and strange, know what you do, know what you sound like so that you can always improve because you always want to get better and better and better because podcast Hosts are going to look at previous things that you've done and videos that you have on your YouTube channel. They want to know that you show up prepared, that you look professional, speak professionally before they have you on. So make sure that you practice, practice, practice. Okay. And like I said before, look in that camera and smile as many times as you, whenever you go, oh, I need a smile. Just think about it and then smile. And you, for, you'll find that most of the time you're smiling, but as you go along, you may stop smiling and then you go, oh, smile. So that's just, for me, I always tell my clients, think, you know, just think about smiling and smile and you'll find out that you're smiling through most of the interview. So think about smiling as much as you can. All right, then you, you, again, you have to know those talking points, but keep them simple, succinct, because I know for our team, we're always trying to get stuff that we can use on um, YouTube Shorts. YouTube Shorts are the shortest short form video that, that is out there. They're only 60 seconds. So I've got to get something great in 60 seconds. So make sure your points are succinct and you actually make a point. You would be amazed. I actually have people that I've worked with that, uh, yeah, you're like, you have to make a point. You, you literally... Um, you know, you're talking, 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 get distracted. You're like, you can't do that because there's no great quote, whether you are talking to a journalist or you are um, doing a podcast, if you don't have anything quotable or anything, you know, really great nugget, it's probably not going to get published. So really think about that. Again, when you're in the seat as the host, there is a high likelihood that if you give them just a really bad interview, it won't get published. So even if a podcast is, is, you know, lower ranked or something like that, yeah, if they don't like it, they cannot publish it. It is their platform. So remember that. And so just remember, you need to be quotable. All right. So talk as if you're talking to a best friend. So for some of you, you may not, you may not know this about me, but I am a former actress and I did a lot of commercial acting. And that was one of the biggest things when we had our, our sides, we would just, we would, I have to learn them really quick and say we were talking about, I don't know, like Swiffer or anything, right? I had to tell my best friend that this product was a great product. And this is why I love it. It's just so great. And it's it, as if you're talking to your best friend. And that is an easy way for just anyone to really kind of sink into this happy place. And um, when you're talking to your best friend, you're much less likely to be salesy, to be kind of like trying to pitch. Just a lot of these bad habits kind of go out the window when you're talking to your best friend because you're really, you're, 
you're truly yourself and people actually think that you're authentic. Authenticity is key. So talk to your best friend and smile. I'm going to be reminding you a couple of these things. So if I'm repeating things, it's because it's super, super important. So let's go back. We'll re re revisit. Know your talking points. Smile. Look at the camera. Talk to your best friend. Okay. All right. Now, another one that may seem like it's like, well, duh, Claire, but you would be amazed. The next one is let the interviewer or podcast host talk. I had a guest. He was crazy. He said some of the craziest stuff I've ever had said on a podcast. And he would rarely let me speak. It was his show and he sold all the time. It was pitch, pitch, pitch. Sold my business. This is what we do. Da, 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 da. It was just horrible. You're like, what podcast was this, Claire? Guess what? It's in the trash. Done. Deleted. Can't. I will not get that hour of my time back, which is why I'm so much more careful about who I let on. Um, my actual uh, person that books for me, she actually meets with people before I get on a podcast with it. And that's precisely why, because it was just such a horrible experience for my myself and my, my uh, producer that I'm like, no, absolutely not happening. Another thing for another client of mine, a guy literally showed up in his car, sweaty from a workout with a headband on, with sweat on him, gross, on his phone. So he's literally like on his phone like this, talking on the podcast. I'm like, what are you doing? It was, the, it was awful. The audio was horrible. Everything was horrible. Um, and we basically said, you, yeah, we can't use it. You need to reschedule and do it again. So this is, a, this is real. You know, people think, oh, it's just a podcast. It's not that important. Ah, whatever. No, people take it seriously if they're hosting a podcast. So you need to take it seriously if you actually want it to be produced. So just letting you know. All right. So another thing is that you need to listen to what the question is and then give an answer. Again, let the interviewer or host speak. Let them ask you questions and answer the question. It's, it should be a nice conversation. If you don't understand the question, ask them to reword it. That's fine. Um, but listen, listening is going to be really, really key. The next thing is, I know that when we have guests, we I give a pretty solid list of instructions. And pretty much everything that's on my notes in front of me is in that instruction. So it's pretty lengthy. It's like, show up, you know, close your tabs, restart your computer, show up with headphones, do all these things. And obviously, I just told you the story about one of my clients, the, the person showed up on his iPhone without headphones. Um, I told you about the woman who was in a restaurant without headphones. It still happens. So read the instructions. Please read. You would be amazed. Please read the instructions. Another thing, too, is that sometimes the host will say, hey, um, from the notes and information that you gave me, your talking points, these are the talking points I want to talk about. They, they may tell you what you're actually going to be asked in the interview, and you probably want to know that information, especially if you need to prepare. So read the instructions, please. So all of those things are super important, but just make sure that you've done your research and that you know who you're going to go into the room with. Be prepared, be kind, all of those things. I mean, it, I, I really feel like it goes without saying, but you would be absolutely amazed with what we've had to deal with. So, and every time I bring this up to other people that have, that are podcast hosts, they agree with me. They have horror stories. So do not be a horror story, please. Um, cause those will not get published. All right. Now we're going to talk about tips for being a podcast host. Um, as I mentioned, I, I've done like 50, podcast guesting. And one of the absolute worst hosts that I dealt with, I still get emails from this horrible human. Um, he started pitching me before the show, during the show, literally right after the show, he pitched me. And then after proceeded to DM me on LinkedIn, send me emails. It was absolutely awful. I literally told my team, never put one of our clients on this on this host's um, show, he is horrible. So yeah, please. The next thing is I also was on another podcast and the host literally said, here are my questions. And just was like, 
Well, thanks, Claire. Question number one. What do you think about this? Great. Okay. Question two. Blah, blah, blah. And I'm like, uh, whoa. It was like, why am I even here? Literally all... Every single podcast was the exact same set of 10 questions. It was awful. Ugh. Again, I've said never put anyone on that guy's podcast. Um, so if you are a host, go with the flow. Those are the better podcasts. Listen to what the person's telling you. Again, if you are a guest, listen. If you are a host, listen. They might tell you some really awesome stuff that one, you can learn from. I know I have. I have my notes here. I always take notes during my podcast. I learned so many things. It's amazing. So listen and then ask questions on what they say. Build on that. Have a conversation. Those are the absolute best podcasts rather than just kind of listing off all of these, um, you know, question number one, question number two. Again, if you have a really bad guest, you might have to do that. I certainly have. Um, but again, if you, if you really do your homework, you probably don't have to have a person like that on your show. You can probably look at previous things that they did and learn that they are not a good guest to have on your show. So, all right. Another thing, um, like as if you are a guest, know the host's name and how to pronounce it. Again, know your guest name and how to pronounce it. So maybe you don't, um, before you got into the room with them, maybe you don't, you, did, you weren't able to find anything that sh showed you how to actually pronounce their name. But I often say, okay, so I just want to make sure that I pronounce your name right. Um, can you please, you know, tell me this. Another thing that I thought was, that was interesting is I had this, uh, we had, used to have a client who had a very difficult um, name to pronounce. And she actually, even in her um, signature line in her email, actually had how to pronounce her name. So we actually put that on in her media kit whenever we presented that. So if a client is, you know, has done that forethought, if a guest has done that forethought, learn it and try, and just make sure, you know, you're like, I just want to make sure I'm saying this right. Please tell me. Um, I mean, I've had guests like, yeah, I, it's either Alicia, 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 like you just have to ask because even if it's spelled one way, it could have three to four different pronunciations. So just ask. Okay. So those are my podcasting tips. Um, yeah, I've just really learned the hard way. <laughs> and I always try to make sure my clients know this. This kind of goes back to my training guide that I give my clients and we talk about, um, show up there, be prepared, be kind, have fun. It's when you show up prepared and your host is prepared and it can be an absolutely fun, fun 30 to 40 minutes of your time. I mean, I've had some great conversations um, on podcasts and, and guests that I've had on. I've actually met people in person that I had on my show because they were so great. We had such a great rapport. So please, you know, remember that it's about fun, but with anything fun, do your homework, you know, put a little effort into it just to get a fantastic result. So those are my tips and tricks um, to be a great podcast guest as well as a podcast host. So I hope that you like those tips. And, um, you know, if you have some tips that maybe I missed out, please let me know in the comments. I would love to know anything that you have learned along the way, because we could all learn some, um, some new tips here and there. And so thank you so much for being here, for listening and watching, and I will see you in the next episode. Bye.